Hi, I'm Mukti Fansari. I thank Courtship for giving me an opportunity to share my learning techniques. Today, we are going to solve the problem Captain M and Army. And the problem code is M A R M Y. M Army. Okay, so let us see what are the steps that we will follow to solve this problem. The first one, we will look at the problem statement and then we will see the input, output, and constraints. Next, we will see how to approach this problem. Usually how I do that is, first I take down the input and try to write the output by myself. So in that process, we get to know what is the main focus of the problem and what are the data structure to be applied, what is the algorithm of the problem and all the required things. Yes, the data structure and the algorithm that we see approach itself. Next, code. Okay, so let's begin. So we are here on this page. The problem code is M A R M Y M Army. Okay, now the problem description. Secret sources of an army has given some information about locations of terrorist camps and how many terrorists are present there. Army has decided to kill those terrorists before they plan anything wrong. Great. This mission is assigned to Captain M, who is the leader with a team of N soldiers. Each soldier has a long-range sniper rifle with maximum NI firing shots available initially. According to the sources, there are K number of terrorists present. Captain M want to kill all K terrorists and accordingly plan the strategies. Okay, so there are N soldiers, K terrorists and each soldier has some firing shots available initially. Captain M has decided that only one soldier can fire only one shot at a time. It means that if we both are soldiers, we both can't fire together. Either you or I have to fire first and that too only one shot at a time. Okay, soldier with maximum number of shots left will fire first. Say I have 5 shots left and you have 4 shots left. So I will go first. Then next soldier with higher number of shots left will fire and so on. In case if two or more soldiers are left with the same number of shots. Now I, ha uh, I had five initially and I have fired one. So I have four shots left and you two have four shots left. So let's see who wins. Like who goes first. Okay. Then Captain M will prefer the soldier in order of occurrence. Okay. So it is in order of occurrence. That means that if I am the first soldier, I will go first. If you are the first soldier, you will go first and I will go second. Okay. Soldiers are not allowed to fire once their number of shots left is zero. Of course, they can't, right? So, as the leader of the team, Captain M wants to decide the order of soldiers for killing terrorists. It is guaranteed that each single shot fired by soldier will kill exactly one terrorist. Okay. Since the input might be large, use fast input output techniques. Okay. The first line contains two integers n and k. Yes, n is the number of soldiers and k is the number of terrorists. Yes, it's clear. Next, the next line contains n space separated integers denoting the initial number of shots available for each soldiers. Yes, right. In the output, we have to print k space separated integers denoting the order of soldiers chosen by Captain M. And the soldiers are one indexed. Constraints. N, K, N, I are integers. N, I, 10 to the power 9 if I am not wrong. Yep, 10 to the power 9. So, in Okay. So, now we will see how to approach this problem. First of all, what is given? N, that is the number of soldiers. K, number of terrorists. And we are given an array which notes the initial number of shots available to each soldier. That is A1, A2, so on up to AN. Okay. Now we will take the test case from code shift. N was 3, K is 6 and the array given is 4, 6 and 4. So I will do the indexing 1, 2 and 3. It is not 0, 1, 2 because it was given that the elements are 1 index. Like in the output we have to index from 1. Okay, so now first the number the soldier which has the maximum number of shots. Okay, now this element goes out first. So I mean that if this 6 is the number, so I'll write here output. So here it will be 2, like we have to output the index. Okay, so I'm out, uh, I'm writing the output in the form of the index. 
Next what happens is 6 minus 1 becomes 5. Right? So 4, 5 and 4. And this is 1, 2 and 3. Again the maximum is 5. And the index is 2. So I will output 2 here. Next. 4, 4 and 4. Now. Now what we have to output. Because all the 3 are same. Right? So it was given that. When all the 3 are same. We have to output from the order wise. Like first I will output 1. Then 2 and then 3. Okay, so first will be 1 and then 2 and then 3. And all becomes, all the array elements become 3. Now, the last one that is left is 1. Why? Because the number of terrorists were k. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, it ends. So, this is the output. Okay. So, here I want you to think that, how do we approach this problem? See, every time what we require is the maximum element, the maximum element of the array. So, we can take a data structure which stores the maximum element at the top. Like always we, we have to access this element, right? We just need the topmost element and the index. So, can we think of a data structure like this? Yes, we have heaps. Heap is basically a priority queue, okay? So, heap we have two types that is max heap and min heap, okay? Max heap stores the uh, like the top element of the max heap will be maximum and uh, the top element here will be minimum. I mean to say that if this is a heap then this will be the topmost element and this will be maximum. This will be the greatest. Okay. So we can uh, maintain a max heap. Okay. Let us see how to do. See in max heap we don't care what the other elements are. Okay. We just require the first element and that, that is what we require here. Right. So, max heap would be the best data structure to use here. Okay. So, 6, 4 and 4. Now, I will pop this element. The operations are same as that of Q. Okay. So, I will pop this element. And then push what? This, whatever I have popped. This element minus 1. This element minus 1. So, it will look something like this. 4, 4 and 5. Okay. This just for the representation. Okay. Yes. Next, what will I do is 4, 4 and 4. But one second. We want to pop the index, right? We want to pop the index and not the element. Okay, so what can we do? We can store a pair. Pair int, comma int. And in this pair, the first one will contain the element and the second one will contain the index. Okay, because uh, the elements in the heap are sorted by this one. Okay, and not this one, by this one. Okay, let us see that. Okay, so if it is pair int, comma int. And the matrix was, or uh, sorry, array was 4, 6 and 4, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so how will it look like? 4, comma 1. Then 6, comma 2 will be at the top. And then we have 4, 3. Okay. So, we can, in, we can output this one. Like if uh, I have named the heap as max heap. So, I can write max heap dot top dot second. This can be given as the output. Yes. Dear. Good. Okay. Let us trace it once. So, if it is 4, 1, 4, 3, 6, 2. So, first this will come out. So, 2. Now, it becomes 5. Again. Now it becomes what? 4, 4 and 4. We have all the 4 here. So if these elements are same, then this will be arranged like this will be, uh, what we say, the maximum element will be at the top. It will be decided by the second one. Okay, by the second pair in the end. Okay, so this is 3, 2 and 1. Okay, so if we output this, we get this as the, we get 3 as our output, but we don't want this, we want 1 as the output, right? Okay, so we can't maintain another main heap. So what can we do? It is 3, 2, 1, but we want in the order 1, 2 and 3. Okay, how do we do this? How can we bring the maximum element at the top? I mean this one, 1 at the top. Hmm. We can just multiply it by negative of 1, right? 
So if I adjust to minus minus minus, this becomes the topmost, this becomes the greatest, right? So I'll just do minus. Okay, this looks good. So it will be 4 minus 3, 4 minus 2 and 4 minus 1. And when we output it, we can just write minus of this one. Okay, right. Now I'll just write the, I'll just tell you, I'll just sum up how to do. So first we can uh, maintain a priority queue, priority queue and the data type like uh, what will be pair, the type will be pair int comma int. Okay, and I'll just name it as max heap. Max heap. So first what we'll do, we'll input all the elements. We'll input all the elements and we'll just write max heap dot push. Max heap dot push will make a pair. A pair of whatever the, if I take C in as a, an element, then I'll write element comma and if I run a for loop for int i is equal to 0, i less than n, whatever may be the input and i plus plus. So it will be negative of i plus 1. Why? Why negative of i plus 1? Because I had already said you that if it is array of i, right? Array of i, then what it will be is array of 0. So if it is array of 0, then the index will be what? 0 plus 1. And we have to store negative of this. So it will be minus 1. This is what we are storing, right? Minus 1. So this will be the thing. Max heap dot push. Okay, so after that, uh, when we perform the operations, uh, we can maintain a loop for int i is equal to 0, i less than uh, k we can write. First we can take the input, i less than k and then first we can take the input. After that we will run this loop. These are the k number of terrorists. Okay, so we have to output them. We have to output the soldiers. Okay, the soldier number, order of the soldiers. Okay, so what can we do is, max heap dot top dot second this can be uh, any integer int a i can write int a max heap dot top dot second now this i will output c out a okay this will be the output next what uh, what we'll do is pop and again push what max heap dot push whatever is this first we can also store it in b int b will be what max heap dot top dot first so a comma not a a minus one right because the number of shots left will be deducing by one and this will be minus of the same thing not minus of the same thing it will be because index does not change a sorry this was b right b minus one and a we can push this and we can continue this okay so i'll uh, write the code and show to you Okay, so now we are going to write the code for this problem. So, uh, first they have given the input that is uh, the number of soldiers and the number of terrorists. So, I'll write int n for soldiers and k for terrorists. Okay, so we'll take this input c in n and k. Okay, so next is the initial number of shots that we are going to take the input. So, before that we'll write the priority queue. So priority Q and uh, it will maintain a pair, right? So pair int comma int. So the first one will be for the first one will be for the initial number of shots and the second one will be for the index. Okay, and I'll name this as max heap. You can name anything. Okay, max heap. Next we'll take this input. So for int i is equal to zero i less than n right i less than n and i plus plus so we have to take one input so c in i'll take i'll just maintain one integer here so int um, element i can write int element so c in element now we'll push this so max heap dot push max heap dot push first we'll push this element so we have to make a pair right so pair of element comma now index we have to write the negative and it is one indexed so i'll write i plus one and also i'll wrap this into negative so it will be minus i plus one okay so i think 
this is good okay so we have taken the input now we have to write the output so uh, how many number will be uh, the output like uh, the number of terrorists right so for or in this we can write while we can make in a while loop and while k minus minus while k minus minus what we'll do is we need two elements right uh, like it maintains two pair i mean one pair one is of the element and the next one is of the index so we need the index to be output right so we can maintain two things int a is equal to <coughs> excuse me int a is equal to max heap and we always want the top element so max heap dot top dot first and int b int b we can write as max heap dot top dot second so this will be the second element now what you want to output is the index index will be b but remember that uh, we had put this negative so while writing the output we'll just multiply it by minus so it will be positive and uh, yes a space okay now again what we'll do is we'll just pop this max heap dot pop and what will push is the element minus one right so max heap dot push and we'll make a pair again which will be of element or uh, element will be a right here a minus one a minus one comma b because the index doesn't change i'll just write b as it is okay and the last we'll just uh, out, uh, write a new line for the next okay the test cases are one right so it is not required i think okay so we'll just test this whether it's right or wrong i've just written this three six four six four which we had taken in the test case let us see if this is correct okay Okay, pair int int max h. Okay, okay. So the problem is I have not declared a q, right? So we have to declare a q here. So hash include q. Okay, I think now it's fine. Yes. Let's see what is the output. Yes, two two one and two three one. This is what we got, right? So we'll just submit it. Yes. Okay. Now we are ready to see the result. All correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hope this problem is clear. Yes. Correct answer. Okay, thank you.